it's not just the government's boosting ties. China's Cybernaut Investment Group has agreed to create a $200 million Chinese-Russian business incubator, robotic center, and venture fund. Tom Barton has the details. According to the announcement, an R&D center will be based at Russia's Skolkova Center. The Chinese investors intend it to house 15 companies, researching IT, robotics, space, energy efficiency, and new materials. They are very desperate for the breakthroughs and cutting-edge technologies, and that's where we can collaborate, because Skolkova residents have uh, really interesting technologies in, 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 in many industries. A robotics center will also be created in China with Skolkova's help to introduce robotics companies to the Chinese market. Chinese and Russian officials hail the deal as an important step forward in advancing innovation and Chinese-Russian economic cooperation. China emphasizes innovation as a key growth area and Russia says it has always excelled at scientific research. Skolkova has its challenges. In 2014, the Russian Prosecutor General's office said that for two years, more than $600 million out of Skolkova's $1 billion budget was spent negligently, in the absence of budget control. And there are questions over how much Russia really wants to cooperate with foreign partners. Most countries benefit from opening up to international competition, opening up to international investors, being open to business, not just to Russian business, but to foreign business. I think there's real ambiguity in this, gov in this government's strategy about whether they're open to business just for Russia or whether they're open to business for the world. Officially, both governments strongly support this joint venture and observers wonder if it may lead to further innovation deals. Tom Barton, CCTV, Moscow.